If you like to join in, feel free to come to a sit or down in a chair or down on the floor, up on a pillow, or up on some books. And just start to feel, yes, more excited than nervous. I try to channel it like this. It works for me. Okay, that's great. That's great. So connecting to your body, listening to your body, what's going on with this excitement. And breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. And we're starting with the yoga lesson right here, right now. I've got also some tea here today again. So it smells really nice again. I like it. Later. Yeah, exactly, IOE. And you're always welcome to change your sit. So at any point in time, if you like to change your set, you're very welcome to do so. So as you're saying, I struggle a lot to sit on the floor, but I know it's little by little. It's completely right. Still, uh, you can sit up higher. You can, you can, for example, yesterday I took a book uh, when I did another meditation off stream, right? I took a book, put it below my sitting pillow and lifted it up even higher. So you can do that. Or you can take even more books and sit up higher, you know? And then other other things like that is, you know, we let's go for some different sitting postures today. I think that's a good idea, a good idea to learn some more sitting postures and how you can sit on the floor. And also through a little sitting sitting sequence uh, another friend of me kind of like designed that is rather challenging but um, there's a lot of insight in there if you're practicing that let's do that I, I like that that you're uh, telling telling me that you're struggling uh, with sitting on the floor you know for me it's the same for me it's the same but as I'm kind of like singing or doing something else it kind of goes away the struggle little by little as well. Maybe it's, that's that's also for you the case. Maybe have you have you tried singing with closed eyes and sing, sitting? Then, at least for me, it's kind of like I'm not aware of like I'm struggling when sitting when I'm singing, and that's exciting, you know. That's exciting for me. And right here, right now, let's start it up. Let's start it up again. Change your sit at any point in time you like that you like. And we're just starting with our usual practice. Bring your arms by your sides. Bring your arms by your sides. And pick them up with your breath. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. With your breath, you lift your arms up. Feeling strong, strong, strong. Get long. Wow, my camera is completely off. How did I manage that? Breathing out, releasing down your arms. Releasing your arms down. Bring your arms up again. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. Get long, 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 long. Feel the length, breathing in and then breathing out. Exhale, release the arms down by your sides. Palms are pointing forward. And yeah, I need to also tell you, we have another podcast coming up finally. 6 p.m. GMT plus one on, um, on Friday. You will also see it in the Discord. I will push it there a little bit. So if you're in the Discord already, amazing. If you're wanting to join there, feel free to join. Other than that, just keep on going right now. Bring your arms up by your sides. Feeling the length. And then breathing out, release your arms by your sides down. And keep going for a moment as I'm fixing the camera quick. Should just take a little second. I think that's better, right? 
Yeah, that's way better. Great. And then place your arms down, breathing out, and bring your hands to your thighs. Use your hands forward and backward on your thighs. Releasing your whole day if you had a day that was full of activity, full of things that were going on. Release that day and just come to your body right now. Feeling your body. Move your hands forward and backward on your thighs. Connecting even more to your body. Feel how your palms are connected to your thighs. Feel how your thighs are feeling. What kind of sensory action is going there on there on your thighs? Or what, what are you feeling? Instead of just feeling with your palms, feel also with your thighs. Activating your ties. And from there, bring your shoulders forward, then upward, backward and down. Again, forward, upward, backward and down. Forward, backward and down. Today we're exploring, exploring a lot, a lot. Wonderful. And release. Shake your wrists, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders a little. And from here, interlace your fingers. Start to circle your wrists. And interlacing the fingers very, very softly. So no need to grab on too hard, but being soft here. Shake your wrists out again. Your elbows, your shoulders, and then the lace, the fingers again. Bring your other thumb in front and circle your wrist again. You're doing amazing. Keep it up. Keep it up. Bring your hands forward, fingers over article, and bring your thumb up and thumb in. Thumb up and in. And in. How oh, does that feel? And circle your thumb forward, whatever forward means to you. Good job, you're doing amazing. And then the other direction, other direction. Smiling if you wish. And comparing your right arm to your left arm, and your left arm to your right arm. Making a fists and move your wrists up and down again still our fingers are vertical making the fists right and move your wrist up and down see how that feels see how your left wrist feels your right one and bring your thumb in between your fist and move your wrist up and down Comparing your right side of your body to your left side, your left side to your right. Release your arms, shake your wrists, elbows, your shoulders. From here, bring your right thumb up, turn it to the outside. Fingers are pointing down and grab on from below with your left arm onto your thumb. And push out from your shoulders, feeling a thumb, thumb mount stretch here. So where the thumb is attached, you want to feel a stretch. Breathing in deep. You're doing amazing, everybody. Keep it up, keep going, keep going. Lots of love to Mexico, by the way. Shake your wrists, 
shake your elbows, shake your shoulders, and bring your other thumb up. Turn it to the outside. Fingers are pointing down. Grab on from below and push out from your thumb. Getting long from your shoulders to your fingers. And breathing out. Hi Birgit, how are you doing? Exciting to have you. Exciting to have you. If you like to have a shout out, just write hi and then you're getting a shout out. And um, very welcome. Go everybody, go check out Birgit Yoga. She's also teaching here on Twitch. Shake your wrists, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. <sighs> Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. Still a little bit sleepy? Yeah, I know you're you're liking coffee in the morning, right? Do you have your coffee already? Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest, getting long from your hips to your head. And from here, bring your hands together. If the mounts of the fingers, you want to bring the mounts of the fingers together first, then release the fingers down and release your wrists down. And again, I have one in front of me. You see, I can read thoughts. <laughs> No, I mean, you're kidding. Pushing through the mounts of the fingers, pushing through the, or claw the fingers, and pushing through the wrists. How does that feel? Pushing in and releasing. And again, pushing in and releasing. And why are we doing this? We are doing this pr to protect our wrists when we're upside down. It's very, very important. So especially when we want to do yoga until not, until an old age, you really want to be aware of all the mounts of the fingers. So that's what we're doing here. So I think of my yoga lessons here as beginner yoga lessons, even though, you know, we're really taking care of our body here. I'm, I'm not instructing things that, that I think like can hurt you, but I really give uh, directions towards um, poses that are great for you and that I think I can instruct so clearly that they won't uh, cause any harm to you. But still, you need to take care of yourself. You need to listen to your body on your own. Always, always. So again, push in through the mounts of the fingers the last time. Feel how all the fingers are connect, the mounts of the fingers are connected to each other. And then release. Shake your wrists, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. Very, very important. Good. And today, rather than uh, that we are going to all fours and everything, we are staying in the sitting posture a little bit and we're changing the sitting posture from time to time. So you're welcome to change your sitting posture right now and maybe as, as you may be cross-legged, right? We're exploring different sitting postures today. As you may be sitting cross-legged like this, you can now bring your knees forward and sit on your lower legs. So bringing your knees forward, bring your feet to the back. And you want to create one straight line from your kneecap to your second toe, kind of. So they kind of like are stacked above each other, right? Then you're sitting back, take your sitting pillow or your books between your legs. This feels comfortable and sit down again. This is one way to sit here. And what we're doing here is we're just, let me sit a little bit more forward. We're just turning ourselves to the side. We're doing some twists here. How are you doing, Birgit? How are you doing? Bring your left hand to your right knee, bring your right hand to the back, breathing in deep, getting long from your hips to your head, feeling the length and then breathing out, looking over your right shoulder back, twisting, engage, engage your belly muscles instead of using your hand here, instead of like pulling, pulling here, 
just put your hand here and look over your right shoulder. Okay, release and bring your right hand to your left knee. Bring your left hand to the back. Again, breathing in deep. Getting long from your hips to your head. And as you're breathing out, twisting over your left shoulder, looking over your left shoulder, engage your belly, twisting more, 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 more. Looking over your left shoulder. How does that feel? And release again. Oh, fun, thank you. Preparing some lessons for today. Awesome. Oh, so you're going to teach later. Bring your left hand to your right knee. We're changing it around again. Breathing in deep, getting long from your hips to your head. And as you're breathing out, look over your right shoulder. Engaging your muscles. You don't want to pull in the front arm, but rather it's there for direction. Hey, Jamie, how are you doing? Good to see you too. Welcome in, Jamie. Release. And bring your right hand to your left knee. And twist around again, breathing in deep, deep, deep. And I'm excited for Friday. For Friday, we will have a podcast together with Isa. Isa Parvati Yoga. It's going to be amazing. Looking over your left shoulders back, breathing in deep. And release. Hey, end of days. Thank you so much for, for the host. Welcome in, end of days. How are you doing? Thank you for the shout out, Suspirgit Yoga. How's your day going? How was your stream? No, that, that was a host, right? <laughs> how, how was your day? How was your day? Welcome in, dear friends. My name is Marcel and I'm here every day for you. I'm streaming yoga every day. If you'd like to join in, feel free to. Today we're going to explore a little bit of sitting postures. Uh, I need to look there. <laughs> Today we're going to explore different ways to sit on the floor. So if you're interested in that, feel free to join. And we're also going to take it a little bit slower in this yoga lesson today. We're exploring a little bit and we're just taking care of ourselves. No problem, I'm good. Awesome, great to hear, great to hear. My name is Marcel, everybody, if you're new here, and I'm not alone here, but I'm also joined by Sean. Sean is a dragon. He's here for entertainment, energy, and motivation. Woohoo! Yeah! Thank you! Good. And from here, we're going to lean a little bit to the side. So place the right hand to the right. And we're leaning with our belly button engaged to the right. Breathing in deep. And then changing around, other side, to the other side, breathing in deep. And change around again, keep your belly engaged. Hey, IOE, thank you for the raid as well. Thank you so much. Big shout out to IOE as well. He's playing a lot of chess. He's playing... He's doing a lot of uh, music as well. He's playing guitar and piano, I think. That's right. And he has a wonderful PhD. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is. <laughs> but it sounds like a PhD, uh, like um, Vortrag. How's that called in English? Like. Uh, something in a meeting yeah let's just call a meeting a wonderful phd meeting coming up tomorrow it's going to be exciting so all kind of different persons in person in here different lives right it's wonderful to connect a little bit to them and what's going on right in their lives so we have people here from England, from Germany, from Mexico, from Switzerland. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm from Switzerland, right? And slowly come back. Bring your fingertips to the floor. 
and get long from the left sitting bone to the top of the left fingers, keeping your right side long. Meanwhile, you can maybe lean a little bit, just a little tiny bit to the right when you have your right fingers down, but keeping your right side long and keeping your left side long as well. It's quite hard, check if you can do it, and then change around to the other side, bring your left fingers to the floor and get long from your right sitting bone to the top of the right hand. Appreciate that, appreciate that a lot. Um, IOE, get long through the right sitting bone to the top of the right hand. Keeping your left side long as well. And by the way, I, um, Jamie, I think the photo, the photo thing should work right now. So start to arch your back and then come forward and up. And then down, chin to chest, rounding. It's not completely working, but I think as I completely want it to work, but um, it's going to work very, very soon, completely. And start to arc up. Round down, chin to chest. Just sitting like this, arcing up. And rounding down, with your head down first. Working up from your lower spine up, vertebra by vertebra. And then chin to chest. Ooh, it doesn't work, really? It doesn't work? No! <laughs> oh. I really worked on it yesterday and it worked. And right now it doesn't. I need to figure it out right after this stream. I don't know what it is. Thank you for trying though, IOE. <sighs> yeah, we're getting, we're getting there just day by day. Good. Okay. Let's change our sit up a little bit, shall we? And it's going to be difficult. It's going to be a little hard. So uh, take care, take care. No need to go uh, fast or anything. But uh, one, one thing that we want to have, let's do that first before uh, going to sit. So please everybody, let's stand up for a moment. Let's stand up for a moment. Whoop. No need to hurry. Standing up slowly in your way. And you know, let's just jump, warming up our body a little. Jumping out of the knees, bring your feet hip width apart, jump out of the knees, release your shoulders, release your neck a lot. How does that feel? Very much an underrated yoga, not really yoga exercise, but very much an underrated exercise. Releasing your shoulders, releasing your neck a lot, a lot. And from here, if you like to go further, you can jump out of your heels. Jumping out of your heels. Great job, you're doing amazing. Keep it up. If there's any point in time, any pain going on, feel free to just come out of it. If you like to go further, jump out of the toes and reconnect your toes and your heels to the floor. Releasing your shoulders and your neck a lot, a lot. Shake your wrists, maybe feel how your shoulders are jumping, feel how your neck is jumping, and slowly come back. Good, and now the exercise that I wanted to do together with you, before coming into the sitting exercises, bring your arms by your sides, pushing out from the shoulders, from finger to finger, engage your belly, engage your chest here. Great, now we're leaning to the right, we're leaning to the right and we're keeping the belly and the chest engaged. So keep the belly and the chest integrated, drawing the belly button in a little bit up, getting long from your hips to your head, 
right? And then leaning to the other side, leaning to the other side, pushing out from hand to hand. Great, and leaning again to the other side, keeping the belly and the chest engaged a lot. Feel how your left leg is lifting off automatically and see how far you can go, keeping your belly and your chest integrated. Great job, everybody. And changing around again. Around. Last step feel. Slowly coming back. Good. Shake your wrists a little bit. And exactly that movement, that engagement, we want to have also when we're sitting down. So in a little bit, we are, as we're going to practice sitting, we are going to also want to have an integrated belly and a chest as we're moving through the sitting postures. So once again, we're going one more time. Bring your arms out. Push out from the shoulders to the fingers. Engage your belly, engage your chest. And we're leaning to the right. And then we're leaning to the left. Keep your head also in line with the spine as good as you can. So not looking up like this, but in line with the spine. And smiling. If you fall out of it, laugh about it. Good. Just release your leg down wherever it is. Great job. You're doing amazing. Keep it up. And then, as we're leaning to the left, hold it there. Hold it there on your left. Grab around your belly and feel if your left side or your right side is engaged here. What you should feel is that, the, that if you're leaning to the left, that the right side is here engaged, but the left side is rather soft. Good. Extend your arms again. Again, and change around to the other side. The other side and grab around your belly again feel if your left side is engaged or your right side and then slowly come down great we're going to come down to a sit now again but this time sitting a little bit differently down so let me take you a little bit closer let's take it into the side view again I think that's the best so you will see here the best Take a little sitting pillow or a book or both if you like and we are bringing both knees to one side and we're getting getting away with like we're kind of staggering them so one foot is on the tie kind of ish and the other foot is just like 90 degrees bent from there kind of like from 90 degree like with both feet you're creating a 90 degree angle here in the in the second knee does that make a little bit sense i hope it does otherwise i just change around so you see it better it doesn't need to be perfect you know that's just the way that we want to sit right now and you can take a sitting pillow or some books to sit on what happens if you're sitting down you can also sit down completely here that's that's completely fine and i'm going to, to explain you why that's completely fine I even suggest you that to sit down without a, a pillow right now. So what's happening here is that we have more weight over the leg. I'm going to change it like this so I can explain it better, so you see it better. Over your left hip, right? Or your right hip, whatever leg is forward, wherever you have your hand right now. And then over your leg. So you have a lot of weight over your leg here in the front. Good. And exactly that's what we want to feel. And we want to give even more weight to your front leg here. Even more weight to the front thigh here. So what's happening is that we, when, that we shift the weight from all our like butt cheeks, from our hips, right? From our sitting bone towards the front leg towards the tie. Do you feel that? Can you feel that? If yes, that's amazing. Then, this is a great way to sit, by the way. If you're sitting, if you need to sit on the floor, this is a great way to sit. Having your arm to the left and sitting like this. 
because you know we are most likely of course there are all different kinds of people in here maybe some people are used to sit on the floor without a pillow without anything right but other people that that are not that um, like let's say trained uh, or flexible or used to uh, it's harder and for them uh, this pose is very very great and what you can do to practice a little bit more is again creating your engagement in the belly and your chest as we did in the other other um, balancing balance yet a balancing pose just before and your head is also in line with the spine and then you can also try to lift up your left hand and balance with your right leg here balance with your right leg you see that my head is in the air right now great job and slowly bring your right leg forward and sit up like this you can hold on your leg and still lean Lean to the side and bring the weight forward to your thigh. Try to keep a straight upper body if possible and see how that feels. Great job. Breathing in deep. And breathing out. And from here, we bring our leg around over your thigh. Over your thigh. How does that feel? Can you do that? Grab around with one arm and bring your right hand to the back and just sit up tall. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. You're doing amazing. Sorry that the photo shot, shoot, the take a photo thing is not working right now, but I'm working on it. I hope I get it to work tomorrow. Yesterday, as I tried it out, it worked, but probably the, the setup here, if I'm streaming live, is a little bit different. I don't get it. To be honest, I don't get it. I need to check it out again because yesterday it worked, so yeah, that's strange. So breathing in deep, sitting up tall, tall, tall. Feel how the weight is still over your front thigh here, not just sitting back on your on your butt cheeks, on your sitting bone, but keeping your leg, your weight over your front leg. Engage your belly and your chest. And slowly release. Woo! Slowly release. Bring your leg forward and turn it around again. Great. Now what you can do, you can change the side. Um, Let's, let's not make it complicated. Let's just cha change the side like this at the moment. We could also do it differently. Like when we have the leg here, we could just like turn around. We, we, we spin, we spin afterwards. We spin afterwards and we are doing everything one more time. But right now we're doing the other side. So again, as you're sitting down, first bring the awareness to like, oh, where are you sitting right now? Do you sit over your hips and then slowly shift the weight forward so bringing more weight to your thigh and sitting over your thigh kind of good can you do that then get long from both sides your body and then long to the top of the head engage your belly and your chest great you can also bring your right hand down or your left hand whatever side you're doing it right now and then leaning a little bit then keeping your belly and your chest engaged keep the sides long and you can lift your left leg up you can straighten your leg if you wish you can play around a little bit what's happening if you're straightening it it what's happening if you're bending at the knee great breathing in deep and you can also lift up your hand if you wish and again, this Friday, we're going to have a wonderful podcast about the yoga lifestyle. If you'd like to join in, uh, we're going to discuss with Isa Parvati Yoga all about, all about the yoga lifestyle. It's going to be amazing. Um, also, we're going to talk a little bit about being vegan or 
like different concepts of like why should you go vegan or vegetarian and all, all kind of like these things or why shouldn't you go oh, all kind of these things bring your left leg forward slowly slowly and place it down great now we're sitting up tall again having some weight still over your thigh you can also extend your leg a little bit further forward sitting up tall breathing in deep engage your belly and your chest so feeling the length in both sides of the body again as we did in the above exercise leaning to the left to the right remember we keep belly and the chest engaged can you sit up like that great we keep the weight over the front thigh here good job so we're sitting over the front thigh still now bring your leg around sitting up tall still got a step feet great job smile don't forget to smile you're doing amazing and you can grab around deep lift yourself up tall 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 or your front thigh being both sides long as good as you can so yeah for me it would be like more like leaning a little bit to the side as well here if I try to have the sides long good job also twist a little bit to the back if you wish and then release and now I promised you to change the side through switching or through yeah, just getting up and what you want to do is you want to have the don't worry it can't happen anything just hold your sweat then slowly bring your hands down on the floor and lift yourself up leave where the legs are leave where the feet are we're turning around completely turning around completely and we're coming to sit again and we're on the other side and the only thing that you need to do is turn in one side and leave the feet where they are did you get that so one more time we're doing it twice for twice more so bring your leg hands down turning around turning around turning around turning around and sitting down again you're kind of like in the same position again and one more time because you want to be on this side right Whoop. And of course it doesn't need to be perfect like you don't need to be in the perfect position but then you can shift yourself a little bit more into a better position so again, we are exploring different ways to sit today. Maybe this is a great sit for you, maybe it isn't. But we are, we are shifting the weight. The main thing is we're shifting the weight over your front thigh. Good. And we're keeping both of your sides long. Remember that. Great job. And slowly we bring the leg away. The front, another step feel. Keeping your sides long, as good as you can. Getting long to the top of the head. Lifting your head, leg up, extending your leg. You can release your front hand if you wish as well, creating a balance. And then release your leg down again. Again, we have a lot of the weight over the front. Right? You can kind of basically lean to the front here. Great job. You're doing amazing. And change around. We're going to do the other side one more time. Just coming back in. Shifting all the weight over the front tie again. Because this is very new. And this is from a teacher from America. This is a, move, a movement practitioner. And he, he's teaching sitting works or something like that. <laughs> and this is just a little excerpt out of it. Excerpt. I'm not sure how to say that. Get long from your left sitting, left side and your right side. Getting long, long, long. Good. And then bring your left hand, left leg up. Maybe 
lift your front hand as well, keeping both of your sides long as good as you can. And again, feel how the weight is at the front thigh. Bring your front leg forward. And up. How does that feel? Still keeping the weight over your front thigh as good as you can. How do you like this kind of sitting, sitting experience so far? Then bring your left leg over. Reach up. And round. Right hand over your left knee. Sit up, sitting up tall, get long in both sides. Back. Again, keep over your thigh. Twist a little tiny bit here. Looking over your left shoulder. And release. Okay, how did you like that? Slowly coming back. We're going to explore one more different way to sit right now. Mainly, uh, we want to grab a sitting pillow. Uh, I don't, I forgot how it's called. I forgot how it's called, but it's kind of like amazing. All what we're doing is we bring one leg in as we had it, and then bring the other leg around. And I mean, it won't be accessible for everybody. If you really want to sit up tall, 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 so you want to shift up, um, shift up with a sitting pillow or something, so you can sit up a little bit taller, and that's kind of it already. Okay. Sitting like this, oh, I forgot the name of it, I forgot the name of it. But it feels, you know, it feels quite, quite good, and you get, can give yourself massages in your in, on your on your feet as you're sitting like this. I think it feels really, really good. And just to change the direction you're looking at a little bit, that's how it looks, right? Like this, you can give yourself very great massages on your feet. Really love that. Good, and if this is too hard for you, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just take it a little bit up to just like feel like, oh yeah, okay, I know where it goes. You understand it, right? And it's amazing already. And let's change to the other side as well. So again, you want to sit up tall. You want to straighten your foot and then bring your other leg on top and sitting back down. And you know there, it can happen a lot in all these different kind of sitting postures that is not good for your knees, for example. So some things like, um, especially like the sit where we have the feet kind of like pointing upward, um, in Sukhasana, right? Instead of like uh, having the feet laying on the floor or like cross legged so slowly come back a bit, slowly come back. So instead of sitting like this, they are sitting like this and they're picking their feet up like this so the knee is pointing even more down and you need to be very very careful about these kind of things but you know as we're in this sequence here we are going a little bit further and I just show you my flexibility there because you know I'm a man and you can honor where you are you don't need to push yourself anywhere you don't need to push yourself anywhere. It's just like this crazy, crazy thing that is going on. Oh yeah, you need to be able to do that, to meditate or to whatever. That's completely not true. You can meditate in any kind of sit, right? And um, whatever feels good to you, right? But still, what I want to show you is another example of like sitting. And this is called wood lock, let's just call it wood fire, fire pose, no, 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 wood lock position, I think it's lock position, I'm not completely sure, There's something else like with wood or something in between there, so what you want to do is we want to grab some books, make sure you grab some books, like two at least, two, two rather big books, so um, 
that you can come into that position really, really good. I'm also needing another book quickly. So I've got like these two books here. You can also use blocks, of course. You can use whatever, whatever fits you, right? And what we're doing is, we are bringing one book kind of below the knee, like this. And then we are bringing the other leg above. And then we want to kind of stabilize our other leg with our second book, where, wherever we are sitting today, right? And from there we're working, right? You may, maybe can bring up your knee a little bit more. So something like this. You see that? And let's just call it woodlock position for now. So having one leg over your knee looks like art. Yeah, for exactly, <laughs> very good. And you know, there are people that can just sit like this. But you need to work crazy amount, you know, as a man. It's just like you need to work so much on it. You have maybe like your hips a little bit clocked. And sometimes we're doing hip openers. We can do a hip opener class tomorrow. And still like this is like really there to enjoy for you as well. It's not just for the others, but you can really like loosen in here a little bit. Try to relax a little bit in here and see how far you can go. Instead of like pushing your, yourself all the way down, just feel like, oh yeah, this is another sit. Maybe that's not for me, you know? And that's completely fine. And for other people, it may might be more accessible. We're just honoring our body today. So for me, that's that's how it is. And that's completely fine. And maybe already feel like, oh yeah, you know, it loosens itself. You can relax a little bit more in the muscles. And then release, and change the side, change the side, other side, whoop. Do you also do this in your yoga lessons, very good yoga, or are you doing other things? I mean, this is very much just like a sit sitting pose lesson today. And uh, yeah, it's also a little bit new for me. I mean, I taught that lesson already once or twice. And same thing here, just the other side, feels different. Feel how it feels different or how it's harder in the beginning and then it gets easier. Enga engage your top foot a little bit and sit up tall. So from your hips to your head, sit up tall. How does that feel? And you know, I'm, I'm so... I'm always like a little bit exhausted if people are not like realizing um, like how the male body feels as people are coming like in and and some male people are like so very very much unflexible and they need to do the same positions as as the women it's like what okay that's strange and of course, as I'm teaching like flexibility things, um, I'm very much considering kind of like my own body and going from my own body out and knowing what serves my own body and what kind of poses I can work in. And then if there are poses that are just like overwhelming to me that really don't feel great to me. And of course, as I'm teaching right now for almost like four years it's like it's like um, becoming easier in certain poses but it's that they are still super super hard for me and then imagine a, a new new man comes into yoga and it's just like super overwhelmed with like things like some stretches I'm doing mostly basic yoga, yoga people looking for relaxation and a bit feeling good in these times yeah exactly and you know, uh, the question came up about like sitting. So uh, 
struggling with sitting, so we wanted to go over these kind of poses here today and honor them a little bit. So thank you for that question, Ayali. And right now, let's come into all fours and let's at least warm our body a little bit. My job is making people happy. That's a big job, very good yoga. Is that your job? Are you, are you sharing your job with some people? <laughs> I'm kidding you. Uh, bring, that's a wonderful job, I guess. Bring your shoulders or your wrists and bring your hips or the knees and start to arc up from your lower spine up. Breathing in deep, start to arc up from your lower spine upward. Again, what we want to feel here is that the mounts of the fingers are connected to the floor. Start to arc. Round down, breathing out. <sighs> completely, completely. And start to arcing up. And I do what they want. Ask them and then I do it. Yeah, exactly. That's how I also do it, Birgit. Or that's how I also try to do it. So sometimes some people are telling, telling me something and we already did chow exercises. I'm very grateful for that. And did some uh, back practices sometimes. That's great. Round down and start to arc up from your lower spine. And you know, I'm not waiting for them to tell me. I'm just doing my own own session. And I always tell them like, yeah, if you have any requests, feel free to let me know. This is why I'm here for. Start to round down, chin to chest, rounding. It's amazing that you're also doing that. Shake your wrists out. So definitely go check out Birgit Yoga, right? Shake your wrists, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. Ooh, you know, we're moving a little bit more before finishing. So bring your hands forward. Bring your hands forward. Push into the mounts of the fingers. Claw the fingers a lot. Tuck your toes in, shift your hips up into the sky. Get long from your hips to your hands. Don't push through for your shoulders here, so no hyperflexibility going on here, but keeping long from the heart to the fingers. Push into the mounts of the fingers, and then get long from the heart to the hips, keeping the length from the heart to the fingers. Bend your knees as much as you need, push your butt into the sky. Finding more space in the lower, lower back. Great job. Breathing in deep. Start to walk with your heels up and down. Boop. Look between your wrists, breathing in deep. And start to walk forward and up. And you Stand with a strong. Your hands up into the sky. Slide back bend. Ah, breathing out, releasing your arms. Shake your wrists. That is how it works for me for many, many years, making people happy. That's great. That's great. Shaking legs, shaking the legs, shaking the arms. Move in any kind of way you like right now. If you like to shake your wrists or give your wrists a massage or move your shoulders a little bit, do that. And before we're closing, bring your arms by your side. Uh, bring your legs by your sides, four, four, four. Bring your arms far away creating a big, big X, smiling, pushing out from the shoulders, pushing out from the feet. Thank you. 
Thank you for shouting out to people, Jamie. You're amazing. Give yourself also a shout out, Jamie. Pushing out, taking in a lot of space, taking up a lot of space. How does that feel as you're doing this? The palms are pointing forward. Make sure they're not pointing to the back, but the palms are open. Your shoulder blades are a little bit to the back. Smiling. Doing great. You are doing great. Release. Release. And step slowly together. How did that feel, doing that? And... Hmm. Let's come to the front of the mat. Let's come to the front of the mat and slowly sit down. Whoop. Sitting down. And roll to the back. Whoop. Roll back and forth, rock back and forth, as however you want to call it. Whoop. back. Good job. One more time. Give your back a little massage. And from here, bring your feet close to your hips. Bring your arms into cactus position, so lying next to your body. Fingers are pointing up. Shift your hips to the left and release your knees to the right. From here, breathing in deep. You can look with your Gaze to the left side as your point as your knees are pointing to the right. We're looking with our gaze to the left. Feel how both of your shoulders are rooted to the floor, breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. Sorry for looking away from you. I hope it's all right. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. And slowly coming up again with your knees. Shifting your hips to the right. And releasing your knees to the left. Looking over the to the right shoulder. And yeah, Jamie, it doesn't work, does it? I didn't see it. You just took the photo. And I don't hear anything. Do you hear anything as you're doing that? Have your, have your hands rooted to the floor. Have your feet rooted to the floor. Looking over to the right. I tried to fix it yesterday and it worked yesterday, but so, so strange that it doesn't work on stream so far. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. Bring your feet up, your legs up, shift your hips back into the middle. I think we're figuring it out in the end of the stream today. If you like to also join in, Jamie, I uh, would gladly accept your help. Otherwise, yeah, let me know. Extend your legs, bring your arms by your sides, extend your legs, feet are facing away from each other, palms are pointing up, bring your Hands a little bit further away from your body. Bring your chin a little bit to your chest. And just be...
nothing to do here, just be. It's very important here. Shavasana is very important. It helps you come back out of the yoga lesson. Today we rather learned a lot about sitting. I hope you enjoyed that. Just be right now. Nothing to do here. Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers. Start to move your move your toes. Whenever you feel ready, draw your knees in towards your belly and shift yourself to either the left or the right side. Coming to lie down on your side body. In the side body position, release all the tension, softening the skin of the face, releasing all the tension in your tongue, in your jaw, in your neck, in your shoulders, in your arms and elbows, in the wrists and the fingers, in your chest, in your belly, in your hips, in your whole spine, in your whole back, releasing all the tension in your legs, in your knees, in your ankles, in your heels, in your toes. Breathing in deep, feeling how this exploration served you today and breathing out, releasing your breath, feeling the gravity carrying you. With your next breath in, lift yourself up by your side, coming up by your side and bring your hands in front of your heart together. Whenever you set up, whenever you're here, bring your hands in front of your heart together. I honor deeply that you take care of yourself. Honoring your yoga practice, bow your head in front of your heart. Namaste. I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are. We're not quite finished here, but we are rather going further now with mantra singing, with breathing and with meditation. So if you like to join into that, feel free to. Otherwise, I wish you a wonderful rest of the day. Release your arms down and open your eyes again. Hey Flo, good morning. Just join in lately and use the last 15 minutes as a warm up for my home workout. Ah, that's good Flo. <laughs> Welcome in, dear friends. So, we already have people here from Mexico. We have people here from um, uh, UK. And yeah, we also have people here from Germany already. It's amazing. Thank you for joining in. Uh, Flo, 
Great, great that you're at least warming up a little bit with us. Today was a lot of exploration in like sitting, in a sitting position, sitting positions. So yeah, but right now we're going to sing uh, a mantra. Then we're doing some breathing practice. So if you'd like to join into the breathing practice, you feel free to do that. And then we're doing meditation for 25 minutes and then five minutes of Shavasana. So we're almost going one hour long and not quite maybe 40, 45 minutes long or so. So, dear friends, let's continue here. And Flo, if you're heading out, if you're heading out for your own workout right now, have a wonderful workout. And thank you so much for joining in and saying hello. I appreciate that so much. Lots of love to you, my friends. Lots of love to you. So, let's go, let's go. Ayui, thank you very much for the sitting session. Great, I enjoyed it and learned a lot. We'll continue with mantras and meditation. Awesome, Ayui. Awesome, Ayui. Great to hear that you're joining in. So the mantra we're using today is still the Nila Kanta mantra. I think we're going to change it up in February. We're going to change the mantra in February. Now we are we are stay kind of like one month kind of with the same mantra. Just like one session we did with another mantra because I really feel the need to uh, or felt the need to. Um, but right now let's stay with the Nila Kanta mantra. And the mantra is here to connect with the love within ourselves. And then in the second step with the love around us, we're connecting as well with the consciousness within the consciousness within. Again, find a great sit and feel, feel how you're sitting right now. I'll stay in and have a look. Okay, flow. flow. <laughs> Don't be overwhelmed by the mantra. So everybody, everybody who's very new to to uh, like um, singing and mantra singing, don't be overwhelmed. Um, it's also here to connect, like there's a, vibrational quality to it that travels throughout our body that lets us connect more to our body. So it's very much as well a physical practice rather than just, uh, let's say, just singing. It's very much, so singing is of course a physical practice, but you need to realize that. And as well as, as like manly man, as masculine man, we kind of think like singing, oh yeah, singing is weak or could be weak or kind of like have our prejudices. Pre, I, I'm not sure if that word is right, but Vorurteile, prejudices, uh, or if I pronounce it right. Um, yeah, and so this vibrational quality travels throughout our body. And especially for me, I got to know my voice in a different way. So for example, uh, I realize it more if I talk really, really high, right? If I, I kind of like overdo it right now. If I talk really, really high, I kind of ri like realize that and come back to um, come back to my normal, usual voice. And also the same thing if I talk really, really deep. I also realize that a little bit. And of course, if you talk to certain kind of people, like people that are more higher up. Uh, higher status or whatever, you may, might talk higher up with your voice as well. And realizing that helps out a lot. But right now, let's start with the mantra. So the whole mantra goes like this. Om Herim Namah Shivaya Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. And we're going to dissect the mantra and sing it together. Um, I won't explain anything more right now. So again, if you just like to listen, feel free to just listen. If you like to whisper, feel free to whisper. If you like to sing, feel free to sing. And do as you feel like. You don't need to completely overwhelm yourself with it and just push through it. But feel if you like to shine or not and do as you like. Let's go. Repeat after me. Om Herim. Now repeat. Om Herim. Namajivaya. Repeat. Namajivaya. Tasmai Shri. Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. 
Gurave Namaha Om Rim Om Rim Namajivaya Namajivaya Tasmai Shri Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Gurave Namaha Higher Om Hirim Om Hirim Namajivaya Namajivaya Tasmai Shri Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Gurave Namaha Om Hirim Om Hirim Namajivaya Namajivaya Tasmai Shri Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Gurave Namaha All together Om Hirim Namajivaya Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha 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 Last time Om Hirim Namajivaya Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha 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 Bow your hands and bring your hands to your heart. Bow your head in front of your heart together. Breathing in deep into your belly, into your chest. Release your arms by your sides. Welcome in Touch Life. How are we doing? Good to have you, everybody. We're going to change it up. We're coming into a breathing practice right now. If you like to join in, feel free to. We're going to do Nadi Shodhana today. So feel free to grab a tissue and clean your nose. If your nose is kind of like stuck, if you feel like the left or the right side of your nose is stuck, 
clean your nose. For me, it's completely fine at the moment. If you like to chime in, feel free to also change your sitting posture. How are you doing, Touch Life, today? Welcome in. Om Namah Shivaya. Agree. How are you doing? Good to see you. Right now, we're going to uh, do Nadi Shodhana. Yeah, Nadi Shodhana is alternate nostril breathing. And I'm going to explain how that works. It's very, very uh, deep. Let's, it's a little strange to, for me to sit like that. Let me sit like this. That's better. It's very, very deep. And it's very, very powerful. And um, you will feel it. We're going for around five. Let's go for seven minutes today. So after we're getting in there, we're going for seven minutes. So find a great sit. Make sure your sit is super great. If you sit in a, in a chair, that's completely fine. If you sit in a chair. So what we want to do is we bring the index finger mount and uh, sorry, the index finger and the middle finger between our eyebrows or a little bit above to your third eye, if you know that. And then we grab around with the big, f I can't talk today. <laughs> I can't talk today. Let's keep it positive. With the thumb, thumb and the ring finger onto our bony part of the nose. On the bony part of the nose, we're pulling the nose flesh up. We're pulling the nose flesh up. And from there, we breathe in deep through the nose. And we're breathing out deep through the nose. Just keep continue breathing like that for a moment. And then we're going to start a breathing practice. And it will take a little bit of time touch life. So I won't respin, respond to the chat in that, during that time. But if you have any questions, I will be there for you right after. So breathing in deep through the nose and breathing out deep through the nose. And if the next deep breath, we're going to start afterwards at any point in time. If this breathing practice becomes suffocating to you, please feel free to come out of it. Good. So breathing in together with me, together with me. Let's go. Breathing in deep, deep, deep. And breathing out completely through your nose. Good, and we're starting the breathing practice by closing the left nostril and we're breathing in only through the right. We're closing the right nostril and we're breathing out through the left. We're breathing in again through the left. Closing the left nostril, opening the right and breathing out through the right. Breathing in again through the right. Closing the right, opening the left, breathing out through the left. Breathing in again through the left and continue on your own. Every time you breathe in through one nostril, Change the side.
And next time you breathe in through your left nostril, breathing out through both nostrils. Take your time, no need to hurry. And then breathing in again through both nostrils. Coming back to your natural breath. Release your hands. We're coming into meditation right now. I'd like to join into the meditation. So first of all, feel how that breath felt for you, the breathing practice felt for you. From there, coming into meditation. I'd like to join into meditation. We're going for 25 minutes of meditation and five minutes of Shavasana. So Shavasana is lying down on the floor. One is always stuff, touch life. Yeah, I have to breathe slower through my nostril because one is always stuffed. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's the difficulty of it, touch life. Did it work out for you? Because sometimes you have a stuck nose and then uh, it's very, very hard to do this. Yes, it worked out. Okay, I'm, I'm, gr I'm great that it worked out. Great that it worked out. How does it feel for you? So this really is not meditation. I want to, I want to tell you that. Um, less stuffed. Okay, that's also good. This, uh, this is not meditation like um, that we're doing here. This is calming your nervous system and you also maybe see that in the way that I'm talking right now I always feel like wow I'm calm I'm calm right now and maybe you also feel that a little bit like just a sense of like oh yeah it's okay to just be for a moment it's okay to, to feel that right now or it's okay to talk slower. It's okay to not push that much and you know. <laughs> if that doesn't make any sense. But it's not meditation, it's calming your nervous system. That's what it is, these breathing practices. What meditation is, is the upcoming thing. I'm going to uh, instruct you, I guide you there if you like to join in. Meditation can be a lot of things, of course. Uh, they can be, there are different practices to do meditation. It's not just like uh, doing meditation in a sitting position, but rather if you can't meditate sitting, then please just go walk in the forest. Just go walk in the forest or take some walks. It, it has kind of like a similar effect. At least in my opinion, it has a similar effect. Even if there are other, other people that might disagree, I'm going to tell you, yeah, it has a similar effect on meditation. Like just walking. And yeah. So if you like to join in, maybe meditation like sitting is a little bit deeper. That's, this could be. So if you like to join in, we're going to start right now. Feel free to join in. I'm going to guide you there. If you like to join in, sit up in a chair or down on the floor, sit up on a sitting pillow or sit, uh, sit up on some books. And we're going for 25 minutes and then five minutes of Shavasana. Let's go. So sitting up tall, feel how your feet are rooted to the floor. And from there, without changing your breath, Observe your breath, observe your inhale, and observe your exhale. Your inhale might be a little bit, your inhale might be a little bit colder, so the air that is coming in is colder, and your exhale might be a little bit warmer, so the air that is coming out is a little warmer. Sit up tall. And every time you lose the connection to your breath, 
observe your thoughts and let them go softly without judging yourself. Let them go softly coming back to your breath each time you lose the connection to the breath. So one more time, you lose the connection to your breath, observe your thoughts, let them go softly, don't push them away, but observe them for a moment, let them go softly coming back to your breath observing your inhale and your exhale. That's all what we do. At any point in time, if you like to change your sitting posture, please do that. If you like to sit in a different way, feel free to do that. I'm now quiet, so enjoy these 25 minutes and then five minutes of lying down.
Welcome to your doom! Slowly. Release your breath and come and lie down on the floor. Thank you for the follow. Call to calm. Slowly come and lie down on your back. Extend your legs, bring your arms by your sides. Feet are facing away from each other. Arms are lying by your sides. Palms are pointing up towards the sky. And just be Just be in this position. Don't need to focus on your breath anymore. But just be. Feet are facing away from each other. Arms are lying by your sides. Palms are pointing up and you can pick your chin up and bring it a little bit more to your chest. Just be.
slowly start to move your toes, start to move your fingers, stretch your arms, stretch your legs. If you like to yawn, yawn. And come back. Come back and sit up. So, I hope you, hope you enjoyed everybody this lesson today. It was a little bit slower than usual. Tomorrow we're going with a little more power, I promise. So if you like to join in again tomorrow, we're going to do yoga every day. This was day 393 of consecutive yoga, yoga streams. Yes, I felt some sensations in my body. Oh, wonderful touch life. So touch life, if you have any questions, please, please let me know if there is anything going around. Because, you know, questions, this is for everybody, by the way, who's listening in. Questions are not only serving yourself, but everybody else who's in here. And you need to come a little bit away from like this uh, close environment and judging everybody about their questions. It's more about like learning from each other's questions which is a wonderful thing. So if you have a burning question on your mind, it's very much important that you pose it, not just for yourself, but for everybody else who's turning in and, and uh, listens in. And Sean, to class very much, how always. <laughs> thank you. Ayuri, thank you so much for your love, for, your <laughs> for that message. Thank you so much. And also Touch Life, Brigitte Yoga, thank you. Big shout out to you. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, it was, it's always a little bit long meditation in the end, and especially if you're new to it, feel free to go slower or do less, right? Not go slower in the meditation, but do less in the meditation. And we are here every day. So dear friends, if you like to join in, feel free to join in tomorrow. Feel free to join in in a week. Feel free to chime in whenever you feel like uh, you need some support. I will be here for you. And you can also ask me, like, uh, ask for requests. And we can go there, like, in the yoga lesson directly. Today was a lot of sitting practices here. I hope you enjoy it. It's, it's yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, like, how, how can we sit, right? How can we sit? And a lot of beginners are... Beginners in yoga ask that question, right? It's kind of just like the answer is easy, like however you feel comfortable, however you feel comfortable. And other than that, we, we gave some variations to it and uh, we learned a little bit. Lotus is my favorite. Thank you. Awesome. So dear friends, Let's head out. Let's share the love with somebody else today. And we are raiding somebody. And we're not, let's see who we can raid today. Who can we raid today? Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be difficult, I guess. So um, currently Isa is also online. However, I don't like to raid her because, um, because she's also finishing up right now. So rather than raiding her, we are heading over to somebody else's stream right now uh, because she's just finishing up. Otherwise, I'd love to raid her because we will have a health skill podcast on Friday together with Isa Parvati Yoga. And uh, then we will get to give each other shout outs and everything. So that's completely fine. But right now, let's head over to a Sand Experiment. Let's head over to Sand Experiment. She's wonderful. So let's share with her lots of love. Dear friends, if you like to join in into this raid, copy the message, raiding with love. And then we're heading, heading over there and we're sharing the love with her. Don't forget to follow me if you like to practice more yoga with me. Feel free to check, feel free to check me out in the about section below. 
there's my YouTube channel there. There's German yoga and English yoga. So if you like to practice in German together with me, especially Flo, if you're still here, Flo is a, like a family to me, right? Uh, he's family, right? <laughs> um, you can check that out. Check out the German videos and you can also check out the English one if you like, if you like. And all these live streams are also going up to YouTube. So if you like to check that out, feel free. Don't forget to follow me. And with that said, I'm, we're heading out over to Send Experiment. My name is Marcel. Oh, Flor Grieve. Yes, I'm still here. Okay, cool. <laughs> Maybe see you tomorrow. We're going to go for a little bit more power. 6.30 GMT plus one. So 6.30 your time. Guys! See you, sir. See you very soon. Send a lot of love to Sand Experiment. She's amazing. She's an artist. Uh, Sand Experiment is an artist who draws with sand. With that said, bye bye. See you soon. See you soon. to have you all here guys hello <laughs> you will stream in fitness and health typically on this channel we are streaming um send that <laughs> i almost forgot what we're streaming <laughs> so yeah like 19 percent of the time we are um streaming send that i draw with send here but once a month we play games <laughs> It seems like it cannot activate it. It can only throw it. <laughs> okay, I'll drive with sand. <laughs> oh, maybe we can throw it to the platform, to the people. Ah, oh, wait, 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 wait. I already say to over how that you're drawing with sand. <laughs> ah! uh, maybe yeah, um friends. <laughs> Sorry for that misunderstanding. <laughs> yes, I draw